Columbus, Michigan. This is Pamela Kime from Grand Tap Media. I'm here with my husband, David Kime, President and CEO of Western Districts Members Credit Union, to bring us the... Word of the day. Morning, babe. Hey, so uh, this is my, I guess, a disguise. I got a, I got a, a credit union outing today, so... Okay, it's a beautiful I, day. I would wear my, my little garb here. All right, anyway, so, so what, is, what the, is the word of the day? Yeah, the word of the day from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary app is nay plus ultra. Yep, plus ultra. That just rolls off the it tongue. It does. It just rolls off the tongue. And you know, believe it or not, mate, nay plus ultra is the highest point capable of being attained, the most profound degree of a quality or state. For example, to drummers in the 1970s and 80s, Neil Part was an Eddie Van Halen figure, someone whose pyrotechnic chops seems to be nay plus ultra. Huh. I think it sounds like a Star Wars thing. Exactly. Did you know, it is the height, the zenith, the alter, ultimate, the crown, the pinnacle. It is the peak of the summit, the crest, the high water mark. All these expressions, of course, mean the highest point attainable. But ne plus ultra may top them all when it comes to expressing in a sophisticated way that something is in the pink of perfection. It is said that the term predecessor non plus ultra was inscribed in the pillars of Hercules and the Straits of Gibraltar, which marked the western end of the classical world. The phrase served as a warning. Let there not be more sailing beyond. The new Latin version, ne plus ultra, meaning go, no more beyond, found its way into the English in the early 1600s. Ne plus ultra, N E P L U S ultra, L U L T R A. Ne plus ultra, three different. All right, so use that word wisely. The highest point capable of being attained. So, okay, that was a long one, and I don't know if I'll be using that anytime soon, but if I hear it, I'll say, I think I heard that on word of the day. Yeah, ne plus ultra, you know, ne almost seems no. So. Yeah, really. So it, it's, a, it's a word you put on the shelf and say you heard it. Yeah. So or, if someone uses it, you, you can ask. Well, it's kind of like a phrase. Yeah, yeah. So it's the ultimate. Exactly. So what do you have going today? Uh, I have a busy day. I am going to get some editing out. I got some interviews mm -hmm. going out next week. Yeah. And I have to get some groceries I haven't got. Wow. I haven't. Moving. Yeah. So I have a lot to do and you're going to be gone. So um, things are going to be good. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on for a, what is today? Is Thursday? All day. All day. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's wrap this up. So what is the word of the day? Nay Say, plus ultra. Nay plus ultra. Which means the highest point capable of being attained, the most profound degree of a quality or state. All right. Use that word wisely. Uh, won't you think? I think so. I will use it wisely. <laughs> okay. We're going to make this short because I have things to do this morning to get out the door. This so, is me. <laughs> there you go. It's David Kime and Pamela. So we want to wish you a fabulous day and we will see you tomorrow for the? Word of the day. Take care.